You are welcome to another edition of the Market Opening Gong, where we give you updates from the Nigerian capital market. This edition captures the market performance for Monday, March 23rd, 2020. From the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the All Share Index closed at 21,700.98 basis points with a market capitalization of 11.308 trillion naira, meaning it depreciated by 2.24%. The equities market closed the new week on the bearish zone as investors lost 259.23 billion naira. At the close of trading, market recorded 9 gainers to 25 losers. The top 3 gainers were Nemet International Pharmaceuticals, May & Baker Nigeria PLC and Custodian Investment PLC, while Dangote Sugar Refinery, Nigerian Breweries and Stambik IBTC Holdings were among the top losers. In terms of trade volumes, Zenith Bank, Guaranteed Trust Bank and FBN Holdings were the top players. Looking at the NASD OTC market, the NSI closed at 690.98 basis points with a market capitalization of 507.57 billion. Volume of shares traded was 472,305 and the value traded 20.367 million in 19 deals executed. For the FMDQ OTC exchange, the debt market size closed at 28.85 trillion naira, the NAFX rate closed at 370 naira to a dollar, while the INE FX rate opened at 380 naira 55 kobo and closed at 380 naira 75 kobo to a dollar. You can also check for global, commodity, currency and other indices on the economic dashboard showing on the screen. For the highlights from yesterday, Ecobank Transnational Incorporated released its 2019 audited results for the period ended December 31st, 2019. Gross earnings grew by 9.1% to 842 billion naira from 773 billion naira in the previous quarter. Profits before tax grew by 32.2% to 147 billion naira. Profits after tax grew by 28.4% to 99 billion naira. Net assets also grew by 9% to 688 billion naira from 631 billion naira. Also, Dangote Cements, Nigeria's largest company by market capitalization on the Nigerian Stock Exchange and the largest cement producer in Sub-Saharan Africa with an installed capacity of 45.6 meters across operations in 10 African countries has obtained approvals from its board of directors to access the capital markets for medium-term debt funding. DCP intends to issue its maiden series of bonds imminently, subject to obtaining regulatory approvals and favorable market conditions. The process of obtaining requisite approvals from the Securities and Exchange Commission for issuance of the Series 1 bonds has begun. The management of Dangote Cement has disclosed that the proceeds of the Series 1 bonds will be used to refinance existing short-term debt previously applied towards cement expansion projects working capital and general corporate purposes. For the key market and economic events to watch, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria will conclude its two-day meeting. From 2 p.m., the CBN Governor, Mr. Godwin Emefiele, will give a statement on the decision of the NPC covering the decisions around the monetary policy rate, cash reserve ratio, liquidity ratio, and the asymmetrical corridor. Experts anticipate that the CBN will cut interest rates following the part of central banks like the US Fed, Bank of England, and Bank of Japan. Since the coronavirus pandemic, the CBN has announced over 1 trillion naira stimulus measures to support the stabilization of the economy and the health industry. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Visit www.prosharenj.com to get more updates from my new stories and videos. Connect with us on our social media platforms displaying on the screen for further updates on our market reports. The ProShare mobile app is also available on Apple Store and Play Store on your mobile device which allows you to customize your preferred news and videos. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching and do have a wonderful day.